Special thanks to Patreon supporter Never Give Up for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, scare 2 4 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle Tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Eurocopter Tiger. The Eurocopter Tiger, uh, now Airbus Helicopters, Tiger is a four-bladed twin-engine attack helicopter which first entered service in 2003. Uh, it was originally manufactured by Eurocopter, but as I mentioned before, it is now uh, incorporated now into Airbus Helicopters. Uh, the uh, aircraft following its languages in Germany is known as the Tiger, in France and Spain it is called the uh, Tigre. Uh, the original designation from its manufacturer was the EC665. Development of the Tiger started during the Cold War and it was initially intended as an anti-tank helicopter platform to be used against a Soviet ground invasion of Western Europe. During its prolonged development period, the Soviet Union collapsed, but France and Germany chose to proceed with the Tiger development it, developing it instead as a multi-role attack helicopter. It achieved operational readiness in 2008. The Tiger has a distinction of being the first all-composite helicopter developed in Europe. Even the earliest models also incorporated ever, other advanced features such as a glass cockpit, stealth technology, and a high agility to increase its survivability. Improved variants have since entered service, outfitted with more powerful engines and compatible with a wider range of weapons. Since its type's introduction to service, Tigers have been used in combat in Afghanistan, Libya, and Mali. Uh, so overall, a really uh, awesome helicopter. I had a, a lot of fun building this. Uh, it was a little bit of a tricky build to do in the beginning, but after I started going, um, stuff started to connect and fit together, and I'm overall really happy the way this build came out. Um, I want to go ahead and give a special thanks to uh, Patreon supporter Never Give Up, who is a new supporter of the channel. Uh, I want to, you know, go ahead and give a thanks to him for uh, pledging and uh, all that stuff and donating a small amount of money to the channel and all that stuff through Patreon. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Again, the link is always down in the description uh, to my channel. You guys can don donate or pledge a small amount every month to donate to the channel. And uh, it goes, uh, you know, to me and, uh, you know, it helps me out with ad revenue and stuff like that sometimes being really wishy-washy and all that stuff and uh, just as a cool way for you guys to also earn some benefits and also uh, earn the ability to get a vehicle request of your choice during the month so pretty cool stuff um, anyways the uh, aircraft is obviously awesome as you can see in front of us um, this is a multinational uh, helicopter so it's used by uh, France Australia Germany and also Spain so uh, depending on what kind of camouflage pattern, what loadouts and stuff like that you put on it, you could use this helicopter for any of those nations. The version you see in front of you is kind of based off of a camo scheme from France or the French army and uh, the loadout as well. Uh, so uh, the other versions, the other countries, they have a bit of a different camouflage. I think Spain is kind of close to France in terms of camouflage, but Germany uh, uses a more green camouflage and then Australia uses kind of like a tan, brown and... Um, orange is kind of camouflage and stuff like that. All you have to do is go to Google Images and you can make a pretty much camouflage for any of those nations and stuff like that. So, um, anyways, really cool stuff. Um, I'm really happy the way this helicopter came out and hope you guys all enjoy it as well. But let's go ahead and dive into it, take a look at what we got going on here and um, all that fun stuff. So, to go ahead and get started here, we have obviously the front, some little lights up here in the nose of the chopper, along with the gun mounted right here. Which also leads me to, uh, you know, say that this is based off of the first version of the Tiger. So this, the first versions had a uh, gun mounted on the nose here. Um, the newer ones uh, do not have a gun, and also this kind of pod right here that has all the optics and sensors and stuff like that uh, is now mounted on top of the rotors, kind of sticking out on a pole that goes up above the blades like that. Um, and obviously, this is the earlier version because it's located right here so that's just kind of the thing to throw in there that uh you know the this is the earlier version but i kind of prefer the earlier version a little bit because it has the gun and it doesn't have this weird pod sticking out from the top there but obviously this could easily be modified to uh replicate that um anyways going ahead and uh, continuing on by looking and taking a look at the build we have obviously the cockpit here so uh all glass cockpit we have the pilot and probably the gunner operator or the ordnance operator uh we have the little pod up on top here uh, the rotors, so you can see the slanted in a in-flight kind of uh, position and stuff like that, so it's, uh, you know, flying for the air. Uh, on the wings, we have the, we have some missile pods here on both sides, and we also have some Stinger missiles, which are kind of like, you know, basically what they are, anti-aircraft 
uh, missile launchers that are kind of put into these hard points on the wings for anti-aircraft capabilities. I saw a lot of the Tigers that are on Google Images and stuff equipped with this kind of loadout, so I decided to go ahead and uh, put them on. And the loadout is the same on both sides, just to keep it symmetrical, but obviously you can change it up and stuff like that. Uh, continuing along the side here, we got lots of little compartments, stuff like that, um, all the way along the side here and right along this section here. We have the uh, engines themselves, so the intakes, all that stuff come back here, the exhausts, um, all that, so nothing real special or anything there. Come back here, we have the tail. I really do like the tail of the Eurocopter. It's, uh, you know, really unique in its sense, and, you know, having this, the way this is designed to have the stabilizers on the back here and all that stuff and the, the uh, tail uh, rotor back here. Overall, really like the way, to, the way it came out and just love the design in general. And we also have the rear landing gear and also the front wheels. Uh, for this helicopter to be landed, it would need to be landed at a bit of a slant. Just the way it is, it would pretty much only be a one block slant. But, uh, you know, that would be a whole separate kind of thing to do. So we're going to be going ahead and just building the in-flight version in this tutorial. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our first layer, we're going to be starting with layer 3 of the build. Now the reason we're starting with layer 3 is, it's going to, is just because it's going to be a little bit easier for us to see a good kind of big picture on the scale of the helicopter positioning wise, and it'll be a little bit easier for us just to add on the uh, layers 1 and 2, uh, just basically, basically building off of layer 1. So it's just a little bit easier, that's why we're going ahead and skipping ahead a little bit, but we're going to come back to them after we finish this layer. Anyways, uh, if you are new, completely new to my tutorials, the way I like to structure these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is that I will show you guys how to build the center line of the aircraft, since the aircraft is pretty much the same on both sides. Uh, I will then show you guys how to build the right side of the fuselage and everything like that. And then it'll be up to you guys in between layers to go ahead and copy the other side over. It's going to become pretty easy and pretty self-explanatory as we kind of move into it. Uh, but it just speeds up the tutorial, makes it a little bit easier for myself in recording it, and... Um, you know, it just doesn't make it so I don't have to basically record building the same thing twice uh, all the way up for the vehicle. Um, so anyways, uh, also we're going to be building the helicopter in completely green. So if you want to do a different camouflage, make it tan, make it red, purple, I don't know, uh, then you're going to want to go and change the blocks out to represent that. We're going to be going ahead and going for a solid green uh, camouflage that with my standard block paddle, palette that I use for green. And then we'll be adding the camouflage at the end for the French Army version helicopter. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come down and we're going to be building the front nose of the helicopter here. We have this gun located on the bottom. Now, to begin with, we're going to place down two narrow brick stairs that are going to be back to back like this. So, just like that. We then want to place down two end rods coming off the middle of this front stair, followed by a uh, wither skeleton skull on the end here. Now, to place down this, you will need to break. Um, or you will need to place down one end rod, a full block, place down the wither skeleton skull on this full block, then break that full block and then place down the uh, end rod like that to get that to work properly. But you're going to have a uh, gun that looks just like that. And this is in the very center of the fuselage. And again, this is right up here on the front nose of the helicopter. So you can look at that for positioning. And also note that we have two more layers of blocks of space needed underneath this. So if you have this close to the ground or close to any kind of obstructions or anything like that, just make sure that you have enough clearance. Anyways, once that's done, we're going to place down two narrow brick top slabs back from that uh, narrow brick stair there. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four green stained clay blocks back, a cobblestone wall, one, two, and three green stained clay blocks, followed by one, two, three, four, and five dark oak with top slabs. We're then going to place down one, two, and three wooden trap doors. And remember that these wooden trap doors are on the top portion of the block, so they're not going to be down there like that. You want to make sure they're on the top portion like so. We're then going to go ahead and skip a space of one, two, and three. We're then going to place down a dark oak with a top slab, followed by two green stink weight blocks, and a dark oak with upstairs stair to wrap up the back here. Again, this is a space of three in between this dark oak with top slab and this wooden trap door right here. So you have something that looks like this so far uh, for the center line. Ignore this right here. This is something that we'll be adding on over here to this side. Anyways, once that's all done there, we're going to go back up to our gun up here in the front. We're going to place down a sign on the first stair on both sides of it, followed by a wither skeleton skull on both sides of the second stair. We then want to go ahead and go back to this uh, second narrow brick top slab here. We're going to place down a narrow dark oak with top slab out to the side. Going back from that top slab, we're going to place down one, two, and three green stained clay blocks back, followed by one and two spruce wood planks. After those two spruce wood planks, we're going to place down one and two green stained clay blocks, followed by a row of one, two, three, four, and five dark oak with top slabs back. We're then going to switch to wooden trap doors, place down one, 
and two wooden trap doors on the top portion of these slabs, going back like so. With that all complete, we're going to go ahead and then go up to this green stinkway block here. We're going to place down a dark cook with top slab to the side, and then one more back like that. Around the top slabs on the front here, we're going to place down a sign, and then along the side of the two slabs going back like this. After these two slabs here, we're going to place down another brick fence post like that right next to them. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some stone buttons. We're going to place down one and two stone buttons on those two spruce wood planks. And uh, with that done, that's going to kind of do it there for the fuselage. So once you have uh, basically this side over here copied over the other side, your fuselage will look something like this. Now when it comes to adding on our hardpoint uh, missiles and all that kind of stuff that we have going on here, we're going to go ahead and add that on now. So for this, we're going to go ahead and uh, skip a space coming off this green stinkway block right after the spruce wood planks, and we're going to place down a green stinkway block. We can then go ahead and delete this place through a block. So we have a block of space, as you can see right here, between the fuselage and this missile pod. On the uh, front end of the missile pod, facing toward the front of the aircraft, we're going to place down a wooden trap door. We then want to go ahead and go back from this green stinkway block, one and two more. Green stinkway blocks back, followed by another wooden trap door on this end. And then we just want to take green uh, zombie heads and place down a row of three on both sides of this row of three of green stinkway blocks. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple stuff. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and come off the center uh, zombie head out to the side. We're going to place down a narrow brick top slab, followed by one uh, top slab back from that. So you have something that looks just like this. Uh, we then want to go and go to the uh, front facing direction, so toward the front there like that. We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull coming off that narrow brick top slab. We then want to go ahead and go back from the narrow brick top slab back here, and we're going to place down a dark oak defense gate, followed by a wither skeleton skull coming off that uh, dark oak defense gate. And that's going to do it there for your first stinger missile pod. With uh, that done there, we're going to go and grab ourselves a dark oak wood stair. We're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair come off the side of this narrow brick top slab here. Followed by a green stinkway block back and then a dark oak wood stair back like that. We're going to go to the do go ahead and do the same thing we did for the missile pod here. So two narrow brick top slabs, one coming off the dark oak wood stair, one off that green stinkway block. A skeleton skull going toward the front. Toward the back here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate. Then followed up by a skeleton skull like so. And uh, once that's all complete, you're going to go ahead and transfer this design that we did over here for this side over to the other side. And to complete your layer, you should have something that looks just like this from up above. With that all complete, that will go ahead and finish uh, layer uh, number uh, one, or sorry, three off. And with that, let's go ahead and move down to layers one and two. All right, guys, so moving on to layers one and two. As I mentioned, these layers are just going to be going ahead and expanding upon layer three that we just did right here. So for this, we're going to go ahead and go to the bottom of these narrow brick stairs. We're going to place down two iron trap doors on the bottom of those blocks like so. We then want to go ahead and go to the second uh, narrow brick top set on the side here. Uh, over, like that kind of sticks out from these little sections here on both sides. We're going to place down a stone brick uh, top slab going down from that narrow brick top slab. After that, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall that goes down from that narrow brick fence post, followed by a narrow stone brick top slab on the bottom of that cobblestone wall. We're going to do the same thing over here as well. With that done there, we want to go and then place down a nether brick upside down stair like this. Uh, a stair on top of that upside down stair, and then the same thing on the back here to go and create a circular uh, front wheel like that. And we're just going to do the same thing over here. So just like this. And this right here will complete your front landing gear. Uh, with that out of the way, the next thing for us to do is to go back to this section here. We're going to go take stone buttons and place them around this cobblestone wall on the bottom here. So just around it like so. After that, we're going to go ahead and go back to the tail right here. We're going to place down a uh, block of coal coming down from the second green stinkway block back. Followed by a lever coming off the uh, block of coal toward the front and a stone button on both sides of this block of coal. Uh, with that all done, I believe that is actually uh, it for the bottom here, and that is. So with that, that's going to do it for layers one and two, as I mentioned, really simple stuff. And uh, with that, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next layer, uh, layer four. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to our uh, next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four, we're gonna start off by going to the front here, and on top of these two narrow brick stairs up on the front, we're gonna place down two green stink clay blocks. We then want to go ahead and go to the sides of these green stinkway blocks. We're going to place down two mossy cobblestone walls that come off to the sides like so. And then coming off the mossy cobblestone wall facing toward the front, toward, or toward the tip of the gun here. We're going to place down an item frame with a glass block in the item frame and a sign on the side of this uh, mossy cobblestone wall like that for these little lights up in the front nose. Once that's done, going back from those mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five uh, green stinkway blocks back. We then want to place down a total of two spruce wood upside down stairs. And in the middle section here, we're going to place down two black wood blocks to go and fill in the space in the middle there to create a little vent type looking design like so. 
Once that's done, we're going to place down a green snake food block back after the spruce wood plank. We're going to go ahead and need to place down two place for blocks in the middle and then place down two shulker boxes coming off of a blank. So make sure the shulker boxes are like that and not like this. Uh, they look better like this and look more like the design we're going for. So uh, just like this on the side here for the compartments. And it's going to be the same thing on both sides there with the uh, kind of like the tops facing out to the side. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down a green snake plate block. Uh, followed by a dark oak with top slab and a second dark oak with top slab after that. In between, in the middle here, we're going to place down two black uh, wool blocks, which will cr create a little, uh, you know, cover for the inside there and create a nice looking uh, vent design. After this dark oak with top slab, we're going to place down another green stink plate block, followed by another shulker box again. Make sure the top's facing out to the side there, like so. We then want to place down a row of three of green stink plate across. Coming off the middle green stink plate block, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine green stink plate blocks going back, followed by a dark oak with upside down stair. And on the very tip here uh, of the stair, coming off the front of the stair, we're going to place down a green stink plate block so your tail should look something like this so far from the side. We also want to place down a sign on the side of this dark oak wood stair. Uh, we're going to go, go back up to this green stink plate block here. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, uh, three, four, and five. Mossy cobbles the walls back like this. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves stone buns and place down a row of one, two, three, and four. Stone buns going back to the wooden sign like that on those four green stink wave blocks. With that all finished up, we're going to go ahead and take some stone buns. We're going to place down a stone bun on these two green stink wave blocks here. We also want to place down a stone bun on this green stink wave block and this one right here as well on both sides of the shulker boxes. Out to the sides, going toward the uh, front up here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate opened up on top of this narrow brick fence post, uh, like this to connect, to connect up to this green stink plate block. And we also want to go ahead and place down an end rod on top of this dark oak wood top slab there. And uh, once uh, that's finished there, the last thing for us to do uh, for the fuselage section itself is we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, zombie head that's going to come off this green stink plate block right here. So it's the second one back from this mossy cobbles to wall, and then an end rod that goes forward like so. Once that's all finished, uh, we're going to go and move into doing our rocket pods and our hard points and armaments on the wings. So we're going to go and place down three mossy cobblestone walls on top of those four, uh, or sorry, those three green stain clay blocks. Uh, to add a little bit of detail to the area around it, we're going to go and place down a dark wood fence gate coming off the center uh, mossy cobblestone wall uh, like this. And we're going to have it open up toward that wall like so. And uh, if you're on a the older version of Minecraft, you may need to break that uh, withers or that zombie head underneath it to get it to fit. But you want to make sure that the fence gate is facing toward the outside, but opened up toward the mossy cobblestone wall. We're then going to go ahead. We're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves some iron bars. We're going to place down an iron bar in the middle here, uh, you know, in the middle space in between the hard point and the fuselage on top of this middle with a green uh, zombie head like that. And then we're also going to place down an iron bar right here uh, on this one in the back corner, like this, going out to the side. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark oak wood uh, stairs. And I forgot to swap these stairs out from the camouflage. So let me go ahead and um, fix that. But anyways, we're going to place down two dark oak wood upside down stairs. Uh, they're going to be on top of the green stink wood block here and on top of this upside down dark oak wood stair. Once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a redstone comparator. Place down one on top of these two narrow brick top slabs. And uh, with that pretty much out of the way, that'll uh, sum up that. And also, one thing I forgot to do from the previous layer is to go ahead, and add, go ahead and add signs on the side of these narrow brick top slabs. So go ahead and do that on the outside here, and you can't really fit them on the inside uh, due to the block space being taken up. Uh, but basically, you want this uh, design here for both the hard points, and that'll be what's connecting this up to the wings in uh, the next layer. Anyways, that right there is going to do it for layer uh, number four. I'll just go ahead and take that design we did over here and uh, all that stuff and the fuselage and copied over the air side and you'll have uh, layer four complete. With that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer five. All right guys, going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we'll be going ahead and moving on to layer uh, number uh, five. So for layer five, to go ahead and get started here, we're gonna place down a dark oak wood slab on top of this second green stink wood block on the nose here like this. We're then gonna place down two green stink wood blocks back, followed by two light gray stink wood blocks after those. Uh, green stink wood blocks. Working our way out to the side now, we're going to place down a zombie head like this uh, on top of these muscle cobbly stone walls on the same uh, angle like this, so about a 45 degree angle. Going back from those uh, zombie heads there, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab followed by a dark oak wood stair. We then want to place down a light gray stained glass full block followed by a dark oak wood slab. After that dark oak wood slab, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven green stink wood blocks back, so again, seven blocks back. 
We're then gonna go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, shulker boxes that are green, and we're gonna go ahead and place down shulker boxes like we've been doing on the sides here, uh, like that. So again, you wanna make sure that tops of the blocks are sticking out toward the sides like so. We then wanna place down a row of one, two, three, and four, green stank wave blocks back. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and then place down a block here in the middle, and coming off this block toward the back, we're gonna place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine green stink wave blocks back. And then we're just gonna place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of this zombie head like so, with a dark oak with top side coming off of it toward the rear. Once that's done, we're gonna go back up to this green stink wave block on the fuselage here. We're gonna go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, and five mossy cobblestone walls, going back in the green stink wave block. Uh, with that all done, on the tail here, we're gonna go ahead and uh, real quickly get the uh, stabilizers in place. Uh, so for this, we're going to place down a row of what is going to be four dark oak with top slabs coming out this mossy cobblestone wall. So four uh, dark oak with top slabs going out to the side, followed by a green stink wave block on, like, uh, like that on the end. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and go from this uh, top slab here. We're going to place down again another row of one, two, three, and four out to the side. So you have a nice row of nine all the way across here like this on the back uh, when you have it transferred over to the other side. Uh, with that all complete, uh, going back up to the fuselage here, we're going to go ahead and add stone buttons to these two green stink wave blocks here. Same thing um, right here on this one right here. And uh, skipping ahead a little bit toward the fuselage itself, we're going to place down a stone button on this green stink wave, or sorry, a uh, trip bar hook on the, that uh, green stink wave block. And we also want to place down a zombie head coming off this dark open slab like so. And with that all complete, we can go ahead and work on our wings real quick. So for our wings here, we're going to go ahead and count from the dark oak with stab here, this row of green stink wave blocks back. We're going to go ahead and count back to our fifth green stink wave block, or the third block before our shulker boxes here. We're going to place down one and two green stink wave blocks out to the side. Coming off the green stink wave blocks toward the front, we're going to place down two dark oak with slabs. Going toward the back, we're going to place down two uh, dark oak with stairs. Once that's done, we're going to place down a dark oak with stair coming off this green stink wave block like this, followed by a dark oak with corner stair in between these two stairs here, like this for the wings going out to the side. We then wanna place down a row of two of dark oak wood slabs come off those two dark oak wood stairs. And then on uh, top of those dark oak wood upside down stairs here, we're gonna place down two green carpets. And with that all complete, uh, that is going to wrap up layer number five. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer six. All right guys, going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we have layer six. For layer six, we're gonna start off by placing down a dark oak wood slab on top of the second green stink wood block up here in the nose. Going back from that dark oak wood slab, we're gonna place down one, two, three, four, and five, like gray stingless blocks back, again, from that dark oak wood slab. We then wanna go ahead and go to the sides of the first two uh, light gray stingless blocks. We're gonna place down two light gray stingless panes, followed by a light gray stingless full block, then followed up a, a dark oak wood slab and a dark oak wood stair like that going back. When that's done there, we're going to go ahead and take our green uh, stain clay. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten green stain clay blocks back. We then want to go ahead and go to the middle space here, place down a green stain clay block, place down two blocks from the middle block. We're really going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five dark oak wood slabs back, two green stain clay blocks, a dark oak wood, dark oak wood upside down stair, and then a green carpet on top of uh, this dark oak wood top slab. We then want to go ahead and go to the sides real quick here, come off this long row of green stained clay along the side here. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of one and two of mossy cobblestone walls, followed by a uh, zombie head like this on top of this mossy cobblestone wall. And then we want to place down an air zombie head like this at a slight angle on both sides on the second uh, mossy cobblestone wall like that going back. Uh, with that all done, uh, that will pretty much do it there for the sides real quick. And we're going to go ahead and focus back here on the stabilizers real quick. So on top of all these dark oak with top slabs, we're going to go ahead and take green carpet and place it all the way across there to keep a nice green color consistent on from the top view. We then want to place down a green hard and stink block on top of this one right here, and then a dark oak with upside down stair coming off of it toward the rear, like so. Once that's done there, we're going to go and then work our way to the fuselage and work our ways of going along the sides here. So for this, we're going to start off by going ahead and going to the second green stink wave block back from this dark oak with stair. We're going to place down one and two dark oak with top slabs along the side here. We then want to go ahead and skip a space, place down a dark oak wood stair with a wooden trap door coming off of the stair like this, uh, kind of cl closed up or opened up like that so it creates kind of like a um, U kind of shape like that. Once that's done, going back in the stair, we'll place down two green stink wave blocks, followed by two mossy cobblestone walls going back from that like so. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a tripwire hook and place down a tripwire hook like uh, so, coming off of this first green stink wave block here, and once you have 
Uh, that all complete, uh, we are also going to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone button and place down stone button coming off of this uh, green stink wave block right here. One thing I also want to go ahead and touch on real quick is I forgot to go ahead and actually include a green carpet on top of this dark dirk with top side here. So make sure that you go ahead and put the green carpet on both sides there to go ahead and include that. Anyways, uh, once that's all finished up there, that is going to do it for layer number six. You're going to take that same design we did over here, flip it over to the other side. And with that all complete, you guys will be done with layer six and good to move on to our next layer, layer seven. All right, guys, moving on to our next uh, layer, we have layer number seven. So for layer seven to start off with, we're going to go to the front up here, place down a narrow brick slab on top of this light gray stained glass block. Going back from the narrow brick slab, we're going to place down a dark liquid stair. Or sorry, a narrow brick stair, my bad. After that narrow brick stair, we're going to place down three light gray stained glass blocks back and then a uh, green stained clay block like that after those three light gray stained, light green stained glass blocks. We then want to go ahead and go to the sides here. We're going to place down a uh, wither skeleton skull at a slight angle uh, like this. Just make sure that they're at the same angle on both sides here. And uh, it's a very slight angle, so just like that. And then we want to place down another uh, wither skeleton skull going back. That's going to be um, on both sides of this uh, nether brick stair like that. Once that's done, we're going to go and take our light gray stained glass panes. We're going to place down a row of uh, panes that are going to go back. So this is going to be a row of one, two, and three light gray stained glass panes back, followed by a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven green stained clay blocks back. We're then going to go ahead and take uh, some narrow brick stairs and replace that narrow brick stair like this, followed by a corner stair after it. In between these narrow brick stairs or in the middle space uh, right here, we're going to place down two green stained clay blocks on the backs of these stairs. Uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a green stained clay block going back, followed by a dark oak wood stair on both sides of this green stained clay block. And then followed up by a dark liquid slab on top of that green stink weight block right there. Uh, they're basically coming off that row of three green stink weight down the middle there, like that going toward the rear here. Uh, on the back here, we're going to place down two green stink weight blocks, one on top of this dark liquid upside down stair, one on top of this second green stink weight block right there. We also want to go ahead and go to this green stink weight block to the side here, place down a mossy cobblestone wall, and then a green stink weight block on top of this dark liquid stair. After that's finished up there, we're going to go ahead and then uh, move back up to the sides here, and we're going to work on the sides here. Uh, for the engines. So for this very simply we're going to place down a tripwire hook coming off this uh, green stinkway block right here. We're then going to follow it up by placing down a bossy cobblestone wall with a sign come off the side of it. We then want to place down a green stinkway block uh, back from that cobblestone wall. This is also going to have a sign on the side of it as well. Uh, we then want to place down a mossy cobblestone wall followed by a dark oak wood upside down stair on top of that stair from the previous layer and again like we did for this stair from the previous layer we're going to place down a wooden trap door and close it like that. Uh, once that's done there we're going to go and place down a row of one and two of green stained clay followed by a cobblestone wall on the side of this cobblestone wall we're going to place down a sign. Coming off the cobblestone wall we're going to place down a uh, narrow brick fence or narrow brick uh, stair corner stair that's going to come off this stair corner stair kind of wraps around like so. And then on the side here, of basically the back of the stair, I should say, we're going to place down a uh, wooden sign on it as uh, well. And that's going to be on both sides like so. Now, with that all uh, done there, that is going to wrap up layer 7. So just take the same design, copy it over to the other side, and once you have that complete, uh, that will wrap up layer 7. And with that, we can move on to layer 8. All right, guys, going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we have layer 8. For layer 8, to go ahead and get started here, we're going to place down an iron trap door on top of this light gray stained glass block right behind this narrow brick stair. After that iron trap door, we're going to place down a narrow brick slab, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 green stained clay blocks back, followed by two dark oak wood slabs back like that on the ends. When we get to this section here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair on top of this green stained clay block, followed by a green stained clay block behind it, and then there dark oak wood upside down stair come up this green stained clay block. We then want to go and place down a mossy cobblestone wall that's going to be coming off, or a cobblestone wall, sorry, that's going to be coming off this green stink we blocked both sides. Um, actually, over here on this side, we're going to place down two uh, zombie heads coming off these two stairs, and we actually want to go and swap this cobblestone wall out for a mossy cobblestone one, only on the left side, left side only. Over here on this side, it's a little bit different. We're going to place down a uh, zombie head coming off this uh, dark oak wood stair, and we also want to place down a sign coming off of this dark oak wood stair like so. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a black wool block. And this is going to be on the right side of the fuselage or the tail right side only. We're going to place down a uh, black wool block to the side like that. And we then want to place down a stone button on the end here with also a iron trap door on the top of this cobblestone wall and on the bottom of the cobblestone wall as well. And a stone button out to the side like this on this black wool block. 
Uh, we're going to go and do the rotors, obviously, a little bit later, uh, but uh, that's just to kind of get it set up for later, so it looks something like this on the tail here. We then also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark liquid slab, place it down on top of this green stink loop block like so. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the uh, front section up here and work our way out to the side. Now, over here to the left side on this light gray stained glass pane on the side of this narrow brick slab, we're going to place down a narrow brick fence post. Over here on the right side, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull at a very slight angle like so. Going back from this, we're going to go and place down a dark liquid upside down stair like this, followed by another upside down stair going back from it. So we have a corner stair, regular upside down stair like so. We then want to take our green stain clay blocks, place down one, two, three, four, and five green stain clay blocks along the side here back, followed by a dark liquid slab on the end of those blocks. We then just want to take some green carpet and on top of this dark liquid upside down stair, and these two green stain clay blocks are just going to place down two green carpets like that on top. Once that's all finished there, that is going to complete layer 8, and with that we can move on to our next layer, layer 9. Alrighty guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number 9. Uh, layer 9 is uh, going to be completely done all together, as it is pretty straightforward, so we don't need to be doing half off, half on. Um, so to begin with, we're going to place down a black stained glass block on top of this green stained clay block up here in the front. We then want to place down a dark oak wood stair to both sides of this black stained glass block. Going back from these dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like this on both sides, turning these two stairs into corner stairs, and then a green stain clay block in between these dark oak wood stairs like that on the back. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go to the dark oak wood corner stair that's to the left side of the aircraft. We're going to go and place down a item frame coming off the side of the stair and a black stained glass pane in it like so. We also uh, want to go ahead and grab ourselves an iron bar, and on top of this uh, narrow brick fence post that's over here on the left side, we're going to place down a iron bar on top of it as well. Once that's done, go ahead and continue on. We're going to place down a black gold block like this, going back from this green stain clay block, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides. We then want to take our green stain clay blocks, place down one and two more blocks back, followed by again two mossy cobblestone walls, going back alongside those blocks like that um, along the sides. Once that's done, we're going to place down a dark oak stair, come off this green stain clay block, followed by a uh, zombie head at a slight 45, or actually about, I say slight, but a 45 degree angle here on both sides of the dark oak stair like that. Once that's finished here, we're going to go to the rear section. We're going to place down a dark oak wood slab on top of this dark oak wood upside down stair, followed by two green stained clay blocks back after it. And with that all complete, that is going to do it for layer number nine. And with that, we can move on to our last uh, layer before we get into the rotors and all that stuff, layer number 10. Alrighty guys, moving on to our uh, last final layer for the fuselage before we go ahead and get into the rotors. Uh, to begin with, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a anvil and place it down on top of this black wool block. Uh, you can have this anvil facing whatever direction you guys want. I'm just going to have it facing this direction like so and um, everything like that. Anyways, once that's done, we're going to then place down a zombie head on this green stain clay block here. We then want to go ahead and go to the mossy cobblestone walls on either side of this anvil. And we're going to place down a zombie head at a slate angle, uh, so something just like that. Once that's done, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab coming off this anvil back, followed by a zombie head at a slight angle again. So just like this, and same thing over here, just like that. When that's all done, you should have something that looks like this from up above. With that all done, that's going to do it for there. We're going to go back to the tail and just place down a wooden trap door on top of this green stain clay block on the back here like so. Once that's all done, that's going to do it for layer 11, and with that we can go ahead and move into our... Uh, next section of the tutorial, which is going to be putting the uh, rotors on and all that fun stuff. So with that, let's go ahead and move into the rotors. Alright guys, so to begin with, with the rotors, we're going to be starting with the back tail rotor. Uh, for the back tail rotor, it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple stuff. We're just going to go ahead and go to this black wool block. Uh, you can place this uh, row of two of Nerebrick top slabs coming off this black wool block to the side, any direction you want. Just to keep it the same as that version over there, we're going to have the row two facing toward the back here like that. Once that's done, we're going to go to uh, the part of the block here. So the top portion here, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair that kind of comes off at an angle going upward. And then coming off this uh, stair going up at an angle, we're going to place down a narrow brick slab like that. We then want to go ahead and go to the bottom of this black wool block, place down a narrow brick upside down stair like so. And coming down from the narrow brick uh, upside down stair here, we're going to place down a narrow brick regular stair. So you get something that looks just like this for the tail rotor, and it's supposed to be that tri blade uh, type design there. And uh, once you have that all complete, that is going to uh, pretty much uh, wrap up the uh, tail rotor. And with that, we can go ahead and move into the main rotor, uh, which is going to be doing these blades and stuff and having them angled to kind of go along with the uh, in-flight version and all that stuff. Anyways, with that, let's go ahead and move into our main rotors. 
Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into the main rotors. To go ahead and get started with this, we're going to go and place down a green stain clay block on top of this anvil up on top here. Coming off of all four sides of this green stain clay block, we're going to go and place down stone brick slabs just like this, uh, a row of three coming off of all uh, four sides so you get something that looks like that. Should look like a cross from up above. Once that's done, we're going to go and place down a uh, dark oak with top slab. Uh, which we want to have in the corners here in between these um, rows of three of stone brick top slabs. So you're going to go ahead and just place, or sorry, half slabs. You're going to place down these dark oak with top slabs in the corners all around here like so. So you get something that looks like this. And then over the uh, uh, green stain clay block on top of it, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab. We then want to place down a wooden trap door that's going to come off this dark oak wood slab on all four sides around like that. And then lastly, we're just going to place down green carpet on top of those dark oak wood top slabs. For the top there like that with that out of the way we can now focus in on doing the blades so for our first blade we're going to have it coming out to the right side here obviously you can kind of reverse this maybe have it come out this way uh whatever direction you want but i'm just gonna be copying exactly what i did over here um so for this what i'm doing here is i'm gonna go and take narrow break uh slabs we're gonna go out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven narrow brick slabs out to the side after those stone brick slabs we then want to go and go to the first narrow break, uh, half slab there. We're going to drop it down a top slab going toward the front of the helicopter. We have one top slab here. We're going to follow that up by six more. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you have a row of seven of narrow break top slabs. But they're going to go ahead and go back up to the half slab level. Place down one, two, and three narrow break half slabs to the side there like that. So this row here should be one shorter than uh, this long row right here. And uh, you'll have some that looks like this on the end here for your rotors. Once uh, that's finished there, we're going to go to the air side and do kind of a, a very similar thing, but we're going to kind of flip it toward the back here. So still coming off of this row of three of stone brick slabs, we're going to place down a row of 11 of narrow brick slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 narrow brick slabs out to the side. We're going to go and go toward the back this time, and we're going to go and drop it down to a narrow brick top slab. Again, you can see it's going toward the back this time. We're then going to place down a row of six coming off of it. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to go up to three narrow brick slabs. So you get something that looks just like that. For your blades, you can see they're kind of offset from each other and that's what you want. Uh, now we'll go ahead and kind of focus in on doing the slanted uh, blades and all that stuff, which will pretty much be a little bit more difficult, but at the same time still be uh, very manageable. Uh, so to begin with, we're going to go and take our narrow brick slabs, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four narrow brick slabs, and just to mention also, this is going toward the front of the aircraft. So we're going to place down four going uh, off these stone brick slabs toward the front. We're going to go and drop down like we've been doing and do a row of three here of nether brick um, slabs or top slabs. Uh, once that's done, we want to make sure that they're offset to the left side. So you can kind of see here that the... Uh, blades look like they kind of rotate around this way so you have like the lowered side that kind of goes around like that so you can want kind of like the rotation look to it uh, anyways once that's done here we're gonna go and drop this row down to a row of three of narrow brick halves or sorry top slabs and then we're gonna go and drop down as well from this and we're gonna place down a row three of narrow brick half slabs so you have something that looks like this that slants down for the front there once that's finished there we're gonna place down a uh, row of two narrow brick slabs cross like this followed by a second row of two a third row and then just one out like so so you have a bit of a slant there for your blade that comes down toward the front there uh, for the back blade it's going to be a pretty much the same thing just uh, slightly different uh, we're going to go and place down a uh, row of four narrow brick slabs come off those stone brick uh, slabs like that we want to go and drop down uh, over to the side and uh, we want to make sure we go toward the right side this time so unlike the front, we went to the left. We're going to the right side now, as you can see. We're going to place down a row of four of narrow brick top slabs across here. We're going to go and drop down, or uh, sorry, go up to a row of three of top slabs. So up like this, one, two, and three. Then we're going to go ahead and place down a row of half slabs. So this is going to be a row of three of half slabs. We're going to go ahead and go from this uh, narrow brick top slab here. We're going to place down a row of two, second row of two, a third row and then one out to the uh, one, one going back like that so you get something that looks like this for the rear blade and once you have that done you're, you pretty much have your blades complete and the general design for the Eurocopter Tiger complete uh, if you do want to go ahead and add the camouflage onto the aircraft we're going to be covering how to do that now which is uh, pretty straightforward 
uh, and we'll kind of talk about how I went about doing the camouflage and doing it for the French uh, army. Uh, but for the most part, the aircraft is done, and uh, you can pretty much modify it however you want from here. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and move into the camouflage and get that put on the aircraft and pretty much wrap up the tutorial. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into putting the camouflage on the aircraft. Now, uh, the camouflage itself is pretty simple. It's basically doing a kind of splotch of uh, basically orange, doing, doing a splotch of black, splotch of green, splotch of orange. It's kind of like that standard color scheme kind of going along the side here. And you can see with the aircraft, you know what I'm talking about, we have the black, we have the orange, we have the green, the black, the orange, the green, black, orange. So it's kind of this alternating pattern uh, with the uh, aircraft and all that stuff. And you can really decide how big and how small you want the lines to be uh, up here in the front. Uh, looking at camouflages, there was like, you know, a very small black tip nose, had a pretty big orange splotch here around the cockpit area. Then we had a good sized green midsection, a little bit of a bigger black one smaller orange one, big green section here. So you can kind of, you know, me uh, you know mess around and see what you really want to do. Uh, for me personally, I just took the aircraft and I had the same camouflage going on both sides there, but obviously you can change it up on both sides if you want to. Um, I just decided to make it consistent. So really simply to do the camouflage, we're not going to do the whole aircraft just because it's completely not needed. Uh, but, uh, you know, you can obviously do that yourselves. Uh, we just want to go ahead and swap out our green stinkway blocks, our uh, cobblestone wall, mossy cobblestone walls to just standard cobblestone walls and make sure that any signs you break or any tripwire hooks, stone buttons, you make sure that you replace those because obviously if you don't uh, you're losing out on that little detail aspect that we added onto the build so make sure that you add those back and uh, for our, our black here we're not going to go too far back we're just going to go and do a nice black tipped nose um, so just make it really slight and as I mentioned before I'm just going to be doing the uh, just going to be doing a little bit so i'm just going to do the one side here and obviously you can do the same thing on the other side do something different uh just kind of showing you guys the general idea of how to go about doing this um we're then going to go and go and take our orange and switch to orange now uh we're going to do use some uh i believe this is acacia wood um which is a nice color for what i was trying to get here uh, we'll swap out this section here make sure that we replace the uh, the signs that were on the slabs. Also, make sure on the bottom here you're replacing these blocks as well. So we're gonna replace some of our uh, blocks that we're gonna be switching out for. Uh, we can go ahead and switch this to orange on the bottom here. So like this, we'll break some stone buns on, on the bottom here, but just make sure we replace them. And uh, we'll have our orange go back quite a bit here because I do like having like the majority of the cockpit kind of covered in the orange color. Um, so we're going to break this. Note that we just broke a trip bar hook, so we need to make sure that we put that back in the right place. Uh, we'll have it kind of flow up in this section. We're going to leave this kind of hatch here alone so that we kind of see the difference that there's a hatch there. It kind of makes it stand out a little bit, and we'll kind of wrap the, or have the orange kind of maybe wrap up here and kind of slowly curve uh, into this section here. So we'll kind of curve up and, uh, you know, go from this curve up and kind of flow into here. And then we can have it even come into this little, uh, you know, optics thingy, mabobber, whatever it is up here on top. Kind of replace it a little bit up on top there. And, um, you know, just make sure we replace our stone buns that we broke. I know we broke one over here, so it's going to replace that real quick. So right there. And then when you get into the sections, like doing the shulker boxes and stuff like that, uh, right here, for example, we might want to put some black in. So we're going to pull out our black, um, you know, wool blocks and start getting some... Uh, black in here and all that stuff and you know one thing that you can do is you can change out the shulker boxes to match those colors and it's something I actually kind of recommend you do as it will uh, look weird even just the standard green shulker boxes when the surrounding area is green so we can just go ahead and kind of swap these out for some black shulker boxes and maybe have our black kind of come down so it's kind of coming down this way you basically want to have like a general idea of how you want your striping to kind of flow with the aircraft uh, before you start placing it. So we kind of want this stripe here to kind of flow at an angle that goes up and in, into this section here. And then it kind of goes into that and you get something that kind of looks like this. And also make sure to replace any, uh, you know, zombie heads or anything like that that are in the black section here with just some, you know, wither skeleton skulls. It definitely looks a little bit better to do so and just to kind of fill it in and cleans it up a little bit. And then, of course, after the black, we're going to go ahead and switch into orange, just kind of following the camo scheme uh, type design and pattern. This uh, section of orange isn't going to be as big as the uh, previous one, so we're going to make it a little bit smaller, replace these mossy cobblestone walls right there. And again, you know, the shulker boxes, we can go ahead and swap these out for some orange ones. 
So some orange choker boxes and they, they still look really good on the side there. Uh, you know, again, our stone buns that we had going on here, we want to make sure that we replace those if we break them. And we can even have the orange flow into the tail a little bit. We're not going to go super far into the tail, but just enough. And also one thing I recommend is breaking the green stink wave block behind the cobbles the cobblestone walls just to kind of give that extra little hint of orange in there. Uh, just kind of makes it look a little bit more nicer and flushed out, I think. And you can just have your orange kind of flow up here and in this top section. And, you know, you kind of get the general idea of what we're doing. We're going to have another space of green here and then kind of flow into the tail and all that stuff. And that's basically what I did for the camouflage. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. You can go on Google Images, find some uh, pictures of uh, some Eurocopters and stuff like that, and copy the camouflage for yourself in proportion of where they are on the aircraft and all that. Uh, but anyways, that's going to pretty much wrap up uh, talking about the camo scheme for the Eurocopter. And of course, I just took the same design I did over here on the uh, left side of the fuselage, copied it over to the left to right side, and it looks good. So you can do the same design we just kind of did here, copied over to the left side, and you know do the same thing for the tail there, whatever you want to do. Anyways, so that's going to uh, wrap it up for the Eurocopter Tiger. Uh, overall, a really awesome helicopter and nice to get a European helicopter into our mix. We don't have, I don't really think we even have any of those. So that's also really cool. Uh, other than that, that's going to pretty much do it for this tutorial. If you guys do end up using this design, I do ask you guys give me proper credit for it. This being thing from Sun the Build to my channel or this video if this does appear any social media sites. As long as you guys give me credit for the build, you're free to use it for every project you guys are working on. And overall, enjoy the build and have fun with it. Other than that, that's going to do it uh, for this uh, tutorial. Uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. Uh, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.